Leptin is an important hormone in regulating not only hunger, it actually regulates your fat metabolism. And we know that leptin correlates well with fat mass. And if you've got your normal metabolism and you go hungry, you will lose weight. Your leptin will then um, trigger hunger, you will eat, you'll gain weight, you'll secrete more leptin and you'll come back to a normal position of leptin related to mass. Unfortunately, some people have abnormal signaling with leptin and these people can eat and they don't feel full and the leptin isn't working and often these people who are obese have very high leptin. We also know some people have very low leptin and therefore they're hungry and gain weight but what happens is their leptin levels for some reason don't increase and therefore we've got people who have um, normal leptin associated with the fat mass, fine. Some people who are very overweight have high leptin but we also know some people have very low leptin. So the goal of our um, hypothesis was that if we take people who have low leptin or obese and give them leptin, will it help them lose weight? And we found out recently by doing a post hoc analysis that when we give people who have low leptin and are overweight and obese, giving them leptin helps them lose weight. This is looking at leptin revisiting obesity. So I think people felt that leptin drove hunger and therefore if we gave it to everyone who's obese, um, they would lose weight. When we looked at the total population, however, it didn't work on everyone. The point of this study was to take the people who had the lowest 10% of leptin, i.e. outside the normal range. When we looked at these people across the studies, we found out that there was a dose response. We found out with 10 and 20 milligrams, these people were starting to lose weight compared to the overall population where there was no weight loss. The second study then took people who had very low leptin, and by this I mean the lowest tenth, second and first percent, so just one out of everyone who's obese with very low leptin. And we found out the people with the lowest leptin gained the most benefit. By replacing that leptin, they lost weight. So what we confirmed by that is, we believe there's a possibility if you segment the obese population into people who have very low leptin, and this can be identified by a blood test, and give them leptin, you may help that population lose weight. So leptin is not for everyone with obesity, it's for people who have low leptin. In the future, we hope that people will measure leptin in their obese subjects, identify those with leptin, and potentially offer that as a treatment. Now this data is very preliminary, it's based on post hoc analysis. We plan to do more studies to confirm the hypothesis that those people with low leptin will benefit from leptin treatment.